When tendons are injured by trauma or overuse, uh, it normally heals with a scar uh, type construct. And that scar we know is not as functionally strong as normal tendon that, that which we were born with. And so tissue regeneration and tendon regeneration aims to and optimize healing so that we can restore the normal anatomy and biology of the tendon, which ultimately should lead to improved function and, rest and restoration of activity. So we look closely at acute tendon injuries as well as tendinopathy. Um, one of the recent studies that we have uh, that was recently funded by NIH is to look at the effect of growth factors, particularly uh, one that's used often, platelet-rich plasma, for the treatment of tendinopathy type tendons. And tendinopathy being a chronic injury to tendon that occurs over time uh, and with activity over time. So our goal is to try to find out what is the true mechanism behind them platelet-rich plasma, how is it working, and with that in mind, how do we optimize that treatment specific for our patients? Uh, we are using a combination of stem cell therapy, also combining that with growth factors uh, to, to see can we optimize these cells for application, and also the growth factors that we use um, should are geared toward tendon development. And so in combining these technologies, we can potentially uh, have improved therapeutics for such injuries. The clinical implications, I believe, are huge. Our population continues to become more active, uh, and a number of individuals, not just the professional af athlete, but the everyday individual, uh, sustains a number of tendon injuries over the course of their lifetime. So from a clinical standpoint, our ability to have therapeutics, both surgical and non-surgical, uh, that could lead to improvement in their function would be, um, would be huge uh, for the population. I believe that orthobiologics, or uh, as we like to say, musculoskeletal bioengineering, uh, is the future, there's a future for it, particularly in clinical medicine. Um, our ability to have both non-operative, conservative treatment options as well as surgical for our patients is gonna be of the utmost importance going forward. Uh, musculoskeletal bioengineering and tendon regeneration techniques may give us that capacity. The ability to apply a therapeutic or engineered um, growth factor or matrices for improved uh, healing uh, could potentially have uh, a lot of upside for patients. Uh, and from the standpoint of improving our clinical outcomes, I think this is definitely a step forward.